Hi friends, Democles Rocha here. Today we practice solving a system of equations. Give this video a like if you support this project. Subscribe and hit the notifications bell if you would like to get to know about our new videos. Now let's get to work. Notice that here we have 4x and here we have 6x. Solving this system of equations can become an easy job if you use the LCM, the least common multiple, of 4 and 6. That you can probably find with mental math, and you know it's 12. You know 12 is the result of 3 times 4, you know 12 is the result of 2 times 6. Not only that, 12 is the least common multiple of 4 and 6. Now what? Let's work with this first equation here. I am going to multiply both sides of this equation by 3, because I know that 3 times 4 equals 12. 3 times 4x equals 12x. 3 times 3y equals 9y. And 3 times 7 equals 21. This new equation is equivalent to the old one. They both have the same solutions. Now, here I would like to see negative 12x, so that we will have an easy elimination soon. So here is what I'm going to do. I want to multiply this 6x by negative 2. In order to get an equivalent equation, I am going to have to multiply both sides of this equation by negative 2. Negative 2 times 6x equals negative 12x, as expected. Negative 2 times 5y equals negative 10y. Negative 2 times 9 equals negative 18. Both these equations are equivalent to the old ones. This means that this new system is equivalent to the previous one. Solving this new one is easier. We will add the corresponding sides of these equations and by doing so, an elimination will occur, making things a lot easier. You will see, 12x plus negative 12x equals 0x that I don't even need to write. Now, 9y plus negative 10y equals negative 1y, which is the same as just negative y. 21 plus negative 18 equals 3. If negative y equals 3, we can multiply both sides of this equation by negative 1, so that we can say that y equals negative 3. Now we have in our hands the value of y. We can replace y using negative 3 in any of these equations above and work to find the value of x. This first one seems easier to me, so let's work with it. Here we have 4x plus 3 times y, but we already know y equals negative 3, so plus 3 times negative 3. All that is equal to 7. Here I repeat for x, 3 times negative 3 equals negative 9, I just repeat the 7 here. Let's organize the things here. Ok, if we add 9 to both sides of this equation, this negative 9 is going to disappear and we are left with 4x equals, well, 7 plus 9 equals 16. Dividing both sides now by 4, we can say that x equals 4. This is it, x equals 4. Let's write down the solution set, x equals 4 y equals negative 3. When we write like this, you know that 4 is the value of x. You know that negative 3 is the value of y. Not only that, but if you replace x here and here by 4, and y here and here by negative 3, well, you will have two true equalities. Don't forget to leave a comment with a smiley face if this was helpful to you. If you have any questions, don't be afraid to ask. I will see you next time, take care, bye!